Hey guys, it's Maddie here and today I'll be showing you my makeup collection. Yes, as you can see I have everything assorted into different groups and each thing belongs with what it's supposed to belong with and I am happy with that. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy this video guys and let me know what you think in the comments below. But yeah, this is my little collection so far. Alright, first up is my brushes. Now, I have quite a few different brushes. No, none of them are high brand high expensive brushes they are basically either ebay brushes or elf brushes none of my makeup is exactly high brand or expensive makeup as of yet but i'm hoping for it all to become really really good quality and good stuff eventually but for now it's just going to be this but yeah this is my collection so far of my brushes i have quite a few and i love these ones to death left is my powder foundations in the middle is my primer and on the right is my liquid foundations. So firstly, I'll talk a bit about my powder foundations. Now, I have used them all before, but at the moment I'm only using about two to three of them. I do like to mix my powders a little bit, but not too much as they are all different colors because they're different brands. I'm using at the moment my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour. This one here, this is a cheapy brand, but I don't like to use it all the time. And the BYS Translucent Loose Powder, I use that all the time. It's great under your eyes, on your nose, etc, etc. Um, the e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder, sorry, and the e.l.f. one here at the back. I had used them at the start of when I was just doing makeup and that. But now, looking at what I use now compared to using that, it was just horrible. And it doesn't last long enough. It does the job, but it's just not worth it. Um, the little blue one up the back is my CoverGirl one. It was my favourite for a very long time, but it's now broken. I've got nothing left, so I kind of just keep it if I can find it again, which would be great, but I don't know if they still make it. Um, here we have my primer that I've been using. It was only a sample that I won. Well, I didn't win it. I got it in a kit if I spent $50, so I kind of just use this at the moment. Um, only thing with it is it is good, but... I just don't think it helps my makeup stay on long enough and that kind of sucks. But that's alright, like I said, it was kind of free so it doesn't really matter. Um, here is my foundations that I use. My main ones I'm using at the moment is the CoverGirl at the back here, um, Rimmel Fresh Girl Skin one and my Too Faced Sample, which is absolutely amazing. It goes with my skin so, so well, but so expensive to get the actual thing, so I do need to save up and get one. Um, these three here are my ones I use more so in the summer because they're darker and when I have fake tan on so they go really well with that. I've got some samples here that I haven't tried yet but I do want to try this one but I'm kind of saving it and this over here is also from e.l.f. but I don't use it because it's disgusting and it's bright orange and it's it's not pretty and I did actually used to use it and I kind of regret that I did but yeah so so far that's my little collection of powder and liquid my blushes and my bronzers um sadly no i don't actually use most of them because they're old or really outdated or just really cheap and nasty i usually use which i will show you a bit later i have palettes that i use now for that stuff but here and here are cheap nasty ones from target that were on sale back in the day and i still use sale let's just grab them this one's a liquid blush that i was actually using for a very long time it's such a pretty color the colors in kiss and it smells like it's supposed to be eaten, not used on your face. Um, I have a ColourPop bronzer sculpting little pack thing. Well, it's not really a sculpting pack, but I don't use this yet because it's too beautiful and I don't want to ruin it. Yes, I know that sounds sad. Um, some Avon makeup here and here. They're just um, blushes that I used to use. This here is actually an LD makeup brand, but it actually isn't too bad, but it's not something I'd use all the time, but it's really, really dark. And this bronzer I used to use all the time, as you can see, but I don't use it anymore. But yeah, that's my little collection there of that stuff. So here I have my ColourPop lip collection. Yes, I have a little obsession with this, but compared to other people, this is only a small obsession. Now, I'm obsessed with the ultra matte lip ones. As you can see, I probably have more ultra matte, and most of these are ultra matte here. Um, I have an ultra satin lip. I have an ultra glossy lip, ultra metallic, and I think, where is it? This one's, that's, no, that's ultra matte there as well. Um, and what's this one? Ew, the lighting is horrible. 
ultra matte as well. I couldn't even see that. That's sad. I'm missing glasses. But yeah, I actually lie. I think these are all matte there, except for this one there. That's a satin one as well. But there is also colours all in this one as well. But yeah, that's my little collection of ColourPop lip stuff so far. The rest of my little lip collection that I have of lip glosses, lipsticks, lip balms, lip stains, you name it. It's all in here. All the lipsticks are basically down the bottom and the darker colours down the bottom. And the glosses and stuff are just chucked on the top. Um, only thing is I don't use a lot of this anymore. Only a few like little bits and pieces from here like lip glosses or lip stains when I feel like it. But mostly now I just use my ColourPop lip colours and stuff because I prefer them compared to these. But yeah, that's my little lip collection just there. Now here I have a few different things. Now at the back I have my concealers, my concealer sticks, my concealers and bottles. That's just concealers all there. Um, another primer, but I can't use this anymore unfortunately because... All the lid on the inside where you push it down, the black comes off. So I'm rubbing black on my face instead of primer. I have a setting spray. Here I have my, um, what is this, mascara. And down the bottom I have a curler, like a heated curler for my eyelashes. And then a normal curler. Um, and here I just have a few different like eyeshadows and eye, little mini eye palettes and stuff that I use. But I don't really use them, they're just kind of there because I don't want to get rid of them. And I have a problem with parting with makeup, so that's why I have a lot of my stuff still. But my favourite concealers to use at the moment is from BYS, and I love my ColourPop Sculpting Stick as well. It's awesome. But yeah, that's my little collection in there so far, guys. Alright guys, and last but not least, this is all my palettes that I have. I have a mixture of different palettes from all different brands, um, all different colours for my eyes, my contouring kits, everything, you name it, is there. But I'm hoping to make more and get more eventually. But thank you for watching my video, guys. I hope you like my little makeup collection that I have so far. Bye, guys.